NZXT Cam. Monitor your games while playing. To learn more about it, check out the description. Hey everyone, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is in fact time for Badger's Picks for the week of what will become the first week of June. Let's see who's free this week and which four champions I'm going to recommend. For this week, there is Ezreal, Nar, Lucian, Morgana, Nunu, Tom Kench, Uder, Urgot, Zed, and Ziggs. And for my first champion recommendation for the week, I'm going to give it over to Zed. Ever since the change to QSS, or the Quicksilver Stash, if you are confused for some crazy reason. Um, ever since, that does not cleanse his death mark, and some other champions who had problems with people who bought that. Um, it makes him incredibly strong. You can't get away from the damage now. Um, because of this, though, he gets banned quite a, quite a lot. Some would say he's incredibly overpowered right now. Um, I'm interested to see if he's going to get picked up a lot more in the LCS because of this reason which we will get back this weekend as well, which is going to be awesome. Um, but Zed's definitely really strong. I don't also think he's the world's hardest champion to play. Obviously, you can get really, really good with him if you do practice him a lot and get very good at using your shadows really well. But for the most part, now that people can't cleanse off the death mark, if you just dive on somebody with your ult, ignite them, and then make sure you follow up with all of your other abilities and send them a couple auto attacks, jump back to your shadow, you're probably going to kill him. Especially if it's any ADC or pretty much any other mid laner. So, Zed's definitely strong. If you don't own him, now's a perfect week to try him out in probably one of the best forms he's ever been in in the game. My second champion recommendation goes over to Lucian. Um, I still hold Lucian very highly for as an ADC right now. I still think he is at least in the top three. Um, still been incredibly strong. We're also seeing variations in his builds coming across from Korea with the whole... Penetration builds with those like Yumu's um, Black Cleaver and those builds we're seeing a little bit more of instead of just full crit builds. Um, I think both can work really well in different situations. Sometimes though I feel like the crit builds just a little better off when you don't really need all that penetration and big crits are going to kill somebody faster than just pretty solid straight damage numbers. Um, so make sure you're not building the wrong Lucian for the wrong game. Um, and I think you're always going to be a little bit more consistent with the crit build. Um, not because the other build's bad, it is a very good build if you get ahead, but it's uh, it's difficult to fall behind. Um, those items don't necessarily give you good base stats until you have them really finished off, so you gotta be careful about that. But Lucian is a very, very strong ADC. Highly recommend playing him if you don't own him. Um, he was crap at the end of last season, but at the beginning of this season, since reworks and the item changes and just small buffs to him, he's back up in a very good spot. You should be playing him if you don't have him, so I recommend you try him out this week. Third recommendation goes over to Ziggs. Yes, that little furball. Um, he's really fun. I've really been enjoying him since the mid-season mage update. They did some little nerfs technically to him, um, but definitely some buffs. He's still good. He still falls in that weird spot of like poke and um, disengage and not really engage, but he has just like a very unique kit. I will say though, with that update to him, one of my new favorites, things is killing turrets with his satchel charge. It's comical and it makes him a really, really fast lane pusher. Um, maybe I'll make a lane push Ziggs or like a split push Ziggs video coming up because I believe Ziggs with his passive, a Lich Bane, and now being able to chunk out turrets at the end of their life with satchel charge, I think he can actually become an insanely good split pusher to a weird degree or at least a multi lane pusher since he can always throw his ultimate over and clear minion waves pretty successfully with it. So um, he can keep map pressure up pretty, pretty well. So um, try him out if you've never played him. I know a lot of people don't since he's not as popular as he used to be, so uh, give him a shot this week. He's actually pretty fun to play. And for my final recommendation for the week, we're going to unbench the Kench. Um, Tom Kench fell off a bit. He got nerfed. He needed it. He was insanely broken. In some aspects, though, they never touched the part of his kit that I think is really strong, um, which is saving people's lives and his gray health. Grey Health is still a ridiculously strong tool in the game. I don't know if they'll ever officially touch it. His original nurse to at least his maximum health on his ultimate. Um, losing some of that is a good thing, and that kind of affected his Grey Health, you could say, because there's just less health. But overall, Grey Health is insane. If he uses it right and he gets focused, then he pops it and he's got that extra health basically that they'd re-kill him. By the time that happens, the enemy team's overcommitted and probably lost the fight. Um, it makes him a very, very good like risk-reward champion. 
great at saving people's lives, but then you can almost like just go in and bait engages and just get them to blow way too much on a champion they shouldn't be trying to kill most of the time. Unless he's really overextended. So I like him for that reason. He's just very, very durable. And he's very annoying when he does get his hands or his mouth more so on other champions. And he eats them and that's just super annoying. That's a 4v5 situation and then they get spat out and they usually lose a lot of health because besides his tankiness, he actually has surprisingly good damage. So um, a lot of reasons to really try him out, whether you want to play him in the jungle or up top or as a support, which is where he's kind of fallen into, which is kind of where they wanted him. Um, since they had to nerf him a little bit, but definitely a strong champion, and if you don't have him, now's the week to play him. Those are the champions that are free this week, all ten of them. Those are the four I'm recommending. Obviously, play all the champions that you wish to play. Now I will briefly go over the champions I didn't recommend and let you know what I think about them. Ezreal, I don't mind him. I think people play him really wrong, and for that reason, I think he's boring and I get tired of him, but I think he's fun to play, but just people suck. So basically, there's that. Um, Nar, actually pretty good champion. Got some small buffs. We haven't seen tons of him lately, but he still makes a really good impact um, in certain team compositions and is can uh, or still can be really good. Um, good NAR players are really, really fun to watch and really, really good. So play him if you like him. Um, Morgana. She was very popular for a while, and she got the, her Victoria skin, but she's kind of fallen off since then. She's not that she's bad. She's definitely still decent um, as a support. Most people I run into playing her play her very sloppily as a support, so she bothers me in that aspect, but I think she's fun to play. Nunu New um, got his buffs, but he just continued to have a sh really crappy win rate, so I just ignore him for now. Uter, if you play him, then you play him. If you don't play him, you usually don't play him. Urgot, you're the same person. You either play that champion or you don't, although he did get better once they buffed him back up, and I've recommended everybody else this week. Let me know who you're going to be playing down below in the comments. I'd like to know who you all are playing. And that is that. If there's a box around these portraits, click on it. It will take you to a video. And then YouTube will pay me maybe one one thousandth of a cent, which sounds really cool. All right, cool. I hope you all have a fantastic week on the Fields of Justice. And I'll see you all next time.